Hey, me, my Afro, my Samsung Note 8, and my confessions. My confessions are simple. In a world where there's no shortage of media, there's a shortage of attention, and you can't buy it. But I have yours, and I don't take it for granted. In a world where everybody's considered an influencer on social media, not all influencers are created equal, and I am certainly not one of the regular ones. But I'm not gonna take credit to say, oh my God, I'm so smart, I was able to see through. No, I didn't. A couple of years ago, I went back to school, and I think you all know this. And in a classroom in New York, right across the street from Carnegie Hall, a case study was done on Snickers. And I will be sharing the YouTube video of that case study. And it's all about the fact that you're not yourself when you're hungry. So they had two major characters tweet out of character. One was Katie Price and the other was a footballer. Katie Price was tweeting about world economic issues and events and money and stuff she normally wouldn't do. And of course, what happened is everybody thought that her account had been hacked. The other person tweeting out of character was a footballer who kept talking about the fact that he wanted to go home and finish his knitting. And once again, everybody believed that their accounts had been hacked. The conversation and the sheer execution of that campaign was so successful, it was discussed in Parliament and in the House of Lords. Obviously, at the end of the day, the only thing Snickers had to say is, you're not yourself when you're hungry. That case study popped my eyes. I mean, it's been three years since I was in that classroom and I've never forgotten it. And when I was given a chance to review a product that easily could be bland, could be anything, I decided, let's do something different. Let's do something a little out of character for me, but also that'll get you thinking, tweeting, talking, sharing. And that's what happened with the Note 8. You didn't take the bait on the fact that I had too many Samsung Note phones. You didn't take the bait that apparently I was willing to give up a really good Samsung phone, the 7, the Edge 7. But the bait that you picked on immediately was pure mathematics, 12 plus 12. I mean, really, 12 times 2, 24. You could have done it, but you decided not to. And that in itself was enough to create impressions and a conversation about a gadget that on any given day could be just another phone. The beautiful thing is this, this is not just another phone. It's a Samsung Note 8. It is a phone that is not just an extension of how I live and work, but actually of my own personality. So I will continue to review it. Please figure out whether you love this phone as much as I do, but I wanna thank every person who decided they knew something or didn't know something and went and Googled and decided to become an expert on megapixels to show me up. I love you for it. And I am looking for the person who created the video. I have a phone for you. Obviously, I'm not gonna give you the Note 8. You don't deserve it. Um, but definitely, I'll give you a phone of your choice. So please get in touch. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing and um, subscribe. Thank you.